Hey everyone, Chris here from the support team. I wanted to create a quick video to demonstrate how you can use the Financials Web Services for reporting. You don't have to have any developer knowledge to make use of the ODATA v4 endpoints. You can pull data into Excel or Power BI and build reports right now. So let's take a look at the Web Services page. The Web Services page is where you can expose pages, queries, um, that you want to be able to pull information out of Financials and down to Excel or Power BI to build reports. Uh, it's very easy to do. Um, you can use these links over here and you can pick new pages to expose depending on the data that you need to pull and the reports that you want to build. Um, let's start off by taking a look at the sales document lines and sales documents web services. First thing you'll want to do is make sure that your user has a web service access key generated. So let's navigate to the user screen. I'll select my user and what you're looking for here is that you have a web service access key for the user generated. If you don't you can use this button at the top to generate one but you will want to have a copy of your username here and your web service access key here as these will be used for your username and password when you go to connect to the web service endpoints. Now that I have my username and password I'm going to navigate to Excel. In Excel we can go to data, get data, from other sources, from OData feed. And this will pull up a prompt asking for the URL. Back in financials, I will select my sales documents, OData v4 URL. I'm going to copy that shortcut, come back to Excel, and paste that in. Now it's going to come up for authentication. For the authentication, we'll go to basic and we'll, we, we will use that username and password that we just got off the user card. Once I paste that in here and hit connect, we should be getting a preview of the data that we are pulling from that OData feed. There we go. This is our purchase header information. I'll go ahead and load that. Now I'm going to navigate to a new sheet and do the same thing. We'll go to data, get data from other sources, from OData feed. And this time we will copy our sales document lines OData v4 URL. And we'll plug that in. And this time Excel will remember our credentials and it should just load up the preview immediately. Now you can edit here if you want to. I'm just going to load it all in. And now I have a refreshable set of data header and line data that I could slice and dice and build reports off of in Excel. If you have an Excel power user that you can give this to, a refreshable report, they can start making reports off this immediately. Let's take a look at another example and how we can add new web services. I once had someone ask me if there was a report that showed you the inventory on jobs versus the inventory quantity on hand. They wanted to be able to see if they were going to have enough inventory on hand to fulfill jobs in real time. I don't think we have a report like this, but I said we could build one off of the web services. On the web services page, if you want to add a new page to expose that for building reports, you can do so by using this create dataset wizard. Now for the report that I'm talking about, we will need to have items page and job planning lines page exposed. Items page is already exposed so we just need to expose the job planning lines. Let's go through the wizard, create a new data set. This data source ID section you can click the ellipsis to do the lookup and I can do a search here on job, I'll do job and then I should be able to find the job planning lines page. Here it is right here. So that's the one I'll add. Give it a name, hit next, and then it'll allow you to filter the data that you want to pull. This doesn't really matter, um, so we'll just publish it. Hit finish, and I should get a job planning lines web service published now. Here it is right here. 
So now I have items and job planning lines. I should have the web services I need to build the report. So let's jump into Power BI Desktop. I'm going to be pulling the data into Power BI Desktop in almost the exact same way that I did with Excel. I'm going to go to Get Data, O Data Feed, and I'm going to grab my URLs. We'll go with Items. Plug that in. And then it will ask for credentials where we will use our username and our web service access key. And this should give us a preview of the data just like Excel did. There's my inventory and my quantity on hand. Now I know the data that I need to build this report so I'm going to edit